You're going to have to kill it. Kill it? Well, I'm open to any suggestions. Go for the eyes, like in episode 22. It doesn't have eyes, Tommy. Well, go for the throat, then, or go for the mouth, then the throat. His vulnerable spots. It's a rock. It doesn't have vulnerable spots. I know. You're going to have to construct a weapon. Look around. Can you form some sort of rudimentary lathe? <laughs> Good movie. Well, I grab that was hammer. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that? Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. Uh, it's a good one. Yeah. I like Galaxy Quest. It's underrated. It is underrated. But it is rated. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't even know. All right. Well, I am Brett, the Brandon of the podcast. Yes, the Justin Long, like nerd boy character of I can the podcast. See that. Yeah, that is I me. Can see that, that is me. Across from me. Is the guy of the podcast, guy, Taylor. Guy. <laughs> the guy. To the right of me, by Sir Gretha's hammer, Sir Alexander Dane, Timmy. Hello. I don't think I ever knew his name. <laughs> I, I just know, yeah. What is his name for as a his character's name? Um, well, his character's character's name yes. is Sir Alexander Dane. Oh, that's his uh, character character name. Yeah. What's his character's name? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't. I don't have it up. <laughs> okay, no worries. And to the right of me, the engineer of the podcast, <laughs> Fred Kwan. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking to the guys, and you're doing great. <laughs> Ship's not gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good movie, good movie, good times, good times. Mm-hmm. No, nope, very good. All right, well, this is the utterly useless podcast brought to you in a rock quarry that looks similarly to Goblin Valley. Hmm. I'm gonna fight a rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Greg Neck. Rock, rock, rock. The pig. Uh, we just beamed the pig monster up. Is it okay? It's inside out. And, it and then it exploded. Oh, yeah. it, what? Did I just hear inside out and exploded? We'll get right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just, I feel like comedy genius there, that movie. Mm-hmm. But I mean, do you think you had to watch Star Trek to enjoy that or Star Wars? No, no, but I think it just adds a second layer of enjoyment for people who like Star Trek and Star Wars and had been to maybe one convention in their <laughs> life. Because I will tell you, as I was watching it, that's why I really feel Justin's long character, like, you know, because that was me. I, I had been to, I had two attempted Star Trek conventions. Tempted. Attempted. William Shatner was supposed to be at one of them. And me and my dad went down to the Salt Palace. And there was no sign of a convention anywhere. Uh-huh. And the people that, at the Salt Palace are just like, nah, um, I, I don't, we don't know what's going on. It's like, no, no, no. Like, it's here. It, it, there's a, there was commercials for it. There's lots of commercials for it. They're like, I don't know what to tell you. And so... <laughs> Then the following year, we went to go see it, and the lady who was to play Deanna Troy was supposed to be there. Uh huh. And then they canceled it, be- or her appearance, because they had this newfangled show called Star Trek Voyager, and they decided to give us a, a character from there so that people would be more excited to watch the series. Huh. Which was a bummer because it's like I didn't, I don't. Who are you? You're just some guy. Do you ever feel akin to Sheldon when he talks about, uh, what's his name? Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. I mean, Will Wheaton's Wheaton. character, Wesley, is the worst character. I know, but like Trek. he didn't show up at the one convention that, you know, that he, wa- he was trying to go see Will Wheaton at. See, I can't get mad at William Shatner because William Shatner's just awesome, and so is Captain Kirk. So you know what? If it was anybody else, I would probably have that disdain. But I'm like, you know what? I can't. And the, here is the weird thing, because I don't think it was his fault. The instant me and my dad got home from this failed convention, we turned on the TV, and there was the um, commercial. The, the commercial for the thing for the day at the time at the place we were at. <laughs> That's crazy. 
<laughs> and we're like, well, I'm like, all right. And so, cause I was, I was sitting there thinking, you know, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like, you know, I could have made a mistake. Mm-hmm. And then the commercial backed me up. <laughs> like, like it was one of those things where like, we just turned on the TV. It's like, well, that was a failure. Turn on the TV. There it was. And my dad just turned to me. It's like, oh yeah, no, like we were totally in the right. <laughs> See, if, if that was my dad and he saw that, he would have been like those sons of <laughs> he would have swore. <laughs> I wasted my time going down there. <laughs> All right. All right, merit badges. What do we got? All right. So, in this week's life earned merit badge, this is the first week back for me at school. And I had a student pop, walk up to me and just, they just randomly just you know, to get to know me, they're just like, hey. Do you ever like watch like, you know, zombie movies and stuff like that? And it's like, oh, yeah. They're like, yeah. What would be the scariest like classroom apocalypse? Like if like one of us turned into a zombie or if, you know, you touch somebody and, you know, it was like a broken arm apocalypse. You know, you touch somebody and suddenly snap their (laughs) arm broke or whatever. I'm like, that sounds horrible. And then they're like, what about a Karen apocalypse? And I'm sitting there thinking, (laughs) oh, geez, I'm like, oh, my word. I, I was just thinking the, the the elementary school classroom would be the perfect ground zero <laughs> for some sort of like post-apocalyptic thing, regardless of whether it's zombies or yeah. Karens or whatever. It would because you'd never see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, I, it just made, you know, my mind just kept on wandering about, you know, and so I just put like, you know, the classroom uh, uh, a classroom apocalypse merit badge because I like, you know, I think the possibilities are endless with that. What, what age group do you teach? Uh, fifth grade. Yeah, so fifth like grade. 10, 11 years old. Okay. okay. I, uh, I was thinking that you, you say, so you know how in like all zombie shows, like walking Dead's a great example, mm-hmm. but all walk, there's no kid zombies. They're always adult zombies. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's just because they don't want to go there and have that. Yeah. But they did go there. Well, they they like they had a kid go there, but like just as you're walking through the city, you never see any kids zombies just going or anything like that. Yeah, they were probably eaten immediately by their their zombie parents. It's yeah. probably true, uh, but I mean, if a show is willing to go there, and or a, I mean, a book would probably be more likely to go there about a class a classroom and the kids all turning zombies because to make the story progress, some of the kids got to go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. I I think we combine the Karens and the zombies into one. Zombie Karens. Zombie Karens. <laughs> and how it is spread is one Karen starts yelling at another person, and then they turn into a Karen. Oh, oh it turned into a Karen. So is over, it kind of like Bird Box like a little bit? Really stupid things like, um, well, speaking of school, like the the parking people assistants. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Who like. This is a drop only zone. You need to move it or something like that. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That happened to Sydney. Sydney got yelled at by another. Is like, you can't get out of your car. It's like, I had to get out of my car because I'm one of like five white vans here. So, like, she has to see me and recognize me. Yeah. I I, I felt bad because it's just like, there, there's two avenues for that. You have the parent that is picking up their kindergartner or dropping off their kindergartner, and the kindergartner is completely lost, and they're in the like the horseshoe loop, mm-hmm. and so it's just like this kid needs to be found, and so it's just like I get that, and then on the other end is you're blocking the 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 traffic in and out, which I I it's one of those things where I'm just like. I just choose to say nothing because I agree with both sides. But wouldn't the person hypothetically stay there regardless of like, if they don't have their kid in the car, are they stopped? Well, I mean, so we've had it where people will just pull in. I like when they pull all the way in and then they hop out of the car because yeah. that gives people the avenue of just kind of going around. Uh-huh. I wish they would like, you know, put on like their hazards or something uh-huh. like that. But uh, nobody has yet to put on their hazards. They just kind of just, I better go pick up my kid. You know, not an emergency, like you know, not stalled on the side of the. Uh. <laughs> so we're when we're doing it, we're always on the in, like I don't know how to describe it. I guess yeah, the outside the, of the, the horseshoe. Uh, uh-huh. So we're always on the outside, stopping and get out, kind of like and stand in front and go, "Hey, 
Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's right, right? That's I, correct etiquette. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're on the inside or on the outside where it's k- kind of like, you know, the tuck and roll lane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I And you stopped in the tuck yeah. and roll lane. Yeah. No. Yeah. I have never stopped there. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. Yeah. All right. My merit badge is dumb, but ugh. I just need to be better at writing things down. I need something to like. I want AI just to transcribe my thoughts always. I agree with that. Because I just, I don't know why grabbing my phone and like opening an app and typing things down is some the worst. Uh, so, yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> I mean, I should use Siri and like, Siri, write this down for me. No, hmm. that, that's too hard. Well, and then you look, you talk to your phone like that and then you feel like you're one of those elderly people who yes. are always yeah. talking uh-huh. with their phones. Shouting at it. Shouting at it. Well, and they have their, they're on the phone and it's on speaker. And yeah, what is with it. that? Like, I've seen the love. Just hold it up to your ear. I know, right? And I've actually seen um, younger kids are doing that these days. I feel like talking like that hmm. with a speaker on. Anyway, I want to slap those people. <laughs> no, I agree because I will tell you, I've had like seven or to like ten different like ideas for the podcast and or like my segment. I'm like. Don't worry, I'll remember that. Yep. And I've never remembered it since. <laughs> exactly. That what happened to me this week. I had like, oh, this is a brilliant spin the wheel question. And I'm going to remember it. And then the next day I check in with my brain. You still remember it? Yep, we got it. Next day, you got it? Yep, we got it. Next day, what? What? Who? <laughs> oh, uh, did you want me to hold that? <laughs> that thought? No, shoot. Aww. So anyway, really boring, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about this merit badge. Um. I am quote unquote off the grid now officially. We got batteries that are running this house. Ooh. All right. Next step. Um paranoid delusional government conspiracy. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. And I don't know what it was like when they turned it on and then we're running off the batteries. I'm like, why does it feel weird? <laughs> like knowing that I'm off a bat I'm uh, running off of a battery versus off of a off of the grid. So right. are you like Peter Griffin? You're you know you feel as like your your own country. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So super excited about that, especially like when everybody's, you know. I mean, I don't know if your power Taylor flickered or Criddle yours did recently, but did. like ours flickered quite a bit. Yeah. Um, ours did. Yep. So but I mean that's a rarity. I miss when there was actual power power outages. Oh, I kid. loved it. That was it gave me time to like like it was one of those no I'm watching a good movie no no uh, hey I got to get a fun idea <laughs> yeah. let's go do this <laughs> exactly yep so I'll miss that but yeah I guess I won't have that ever again mm. <laughs> your kids will never know the delight of life without power I mean it's more likely that they'll just see great brownouts and stuff like that mm-hmm. anyway right now instead of a full power outage mm-hmm. even though apparently where we live the grid is overworked so yeah all right cool story thank you (laughs) thank you no i'll i'll go next i got the world's dumbest parent um merit badge taylor would you bring your i can't otherwise it goes oh there it goes oh whoa oh (laughs) okay i don't know what's up with my mic today but yeah, I have the world's dumbest parent um, award, and it was very, very bad. <laughs> oh. So, yes, uh, Jared knows where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah. So earlier this week, my wife went to go get her fingernails done, and I happened to give both of my kids their daytime medicine instead of their nighttime medicine. Mm. And so my youngest was up at 1.30 in the morning, and he was bouncing off the walls, and yeah. So I was up with them, and it was just pure insanity. I've never seen my youngest with so much energy throughout the night and during the day. And so, oh yeah, and my other one was crazy too. Which led me into multiple relapses of caffeinated beverages. <laughs> As it should. <laughs> I know. So this week it was, yeah, it was 
stupid mistake on my part on top of relapsing. I feel like a drug addict now. <laughs> but the, the funny like thing is at least nap. your wife made it hilarious about just how like ADD, ADHD they were. Like they were all over the place and like oh. here and there and there and here and now. It's just yeah. like. They were bouncing <laughs> off the walls. They were. And like when he came down to your to another. when you came down to your basement and talked to oh, you. Oh yes, yeah. So my youngest would come downstairs, and I and I was working. I'd, and then I'd be like, he, "Here, just run downstairs." And he'd mess with some things, and then he'd get on the swing that we have downstairs. And then I'd be like, "Oh, sorry, Dad, I forget that you're working." Okay, bye. <laughs> right up the stairs, and it happened like three times. <laughs> just pure insanity so yeah that's funny well, right. what about you criddle i got the eerie indiana merit badge Ooh, Ooh yes i can't wait i love that show <laughs> back in the day for those of you who don't know eerie indiana was a show back in what the 90s uh-huh. yep uh, okay where these this these teenagers just randomly see weird things so recently i spotted four randomly weird things throughout the week that I just thought this kind of fits the eerie Indiana st- lifestyle. So I'm so excited. For did you, <laughs> do you see any twins in uh Tupperware? No, but I wish <laughs> that'd be so crazy. <laughs> yeah, would be crazy. We would have to get a uh, picture for the uh, podcast. <laughs> um, but I saw, first thing I saw that was a little strange was a woman. It was like 95 degrees outside, and some woman was dressed head to toe, covered in sweats, dancing while going out for a walk. Hey. And, and, and it was on full display. <laughs> like, I mean, there was traffic everywhere, and she was she did, just didn't care. Now, do you, how do you interpret her... Um, uh, how is as, she dancing? No, how as a person like is she somebody who is not a hundred percent there? It didn't. It looked like it. I mean, she okay. was wearing sunglasses and just her hair and everything was covered on her from you know with sweats. Like she, it might have been a sweatsuit. <laughs> oh jeez! And I was just like, what is she doing? And I mean, she was she was on full display, just arms ex- just stretched. Moving her legs, just twirling, and she was alone. This sounds like if I don't know if your your old neighbor friend Brett was is still alive, oh, <laughs> but I this miss, would have been a perfect match. I miss <laughs> dancing uh, the dancing tennis stuff. ball walker. Guy. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tennis ball. Yeah, it, I don't know if there was a tennis ball. <laughs> there might have been. <laughs> well, he has her tennis ball now. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a ghost. Then there's a guy that lived by my condos for years. Uh, either he moved or or he died. But uh, he was just this retired doctor, and every single day he would go for walks. But he would just dance. He would be bouncing the tennis ball, and he, he you know he would twist and turn or whatever. And the city of Cottonwood Heights actually forbade him from walking the streets like that. Like there was a huge, <laughs> there was an article in the newspaper back in the day because I would tell my parents, I'm just like, and I'm like, yeah, there's this guy. And Jeremy's, you know, was my roommate. He's like, yeah, I've seen him a couple of times. And so my dad pulls out this newspaper article about maybe a year or so later. He's like, is this the guy? And yeah, they, <laughs> they he is this uh, retired doctor and he just goes out for walks and he just, has a tennis ball and he bounces it and then he twirls it around like it was like, you know, he was the Harlem Globetrotter or something mm-hmm. like that, just dancing back and forth. And one day he was uh, in the city of Cottonwood Heights getting his car worked on and he got like the police pulled over and told him he cease and desist. You're not <laughs> allowed to do this. Wow. Oh I don't know about the Cottonwood Heights thing. That's crazy. That all started with a Karen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's dancing. This is footloose like, country here. Call the police. <laughs> Crap like that is so infuriating. Just let the guy dance. Let him do his thing. <laughs> he's he's not, too he's happy. Not, he's not hurting anyone. <laughs> I'm <All> disturbed. Right. <laughs> Sorry, uh, go oh. on, Criddle. The, the next thing I saw was while I was driving on the freeway on, on the 15 north, 
um, coming from uh, like the Provo area, mm -hmm. I saw a guy in his car with his left foot out the window, no shoes on, in the driver's seat, mm -hmm. out the window while driving. Definitely not a clutch. And yeah. I was like, first off, that's quite the flexibility there mm -hmm. to just have your foot like fully extended. I'm just yeah. <laughs> It was fully extended, like his fully knee? Fully extended, yeah. Like, it was, yeah, he knee was, out. But he wasn't bending his knee at all like no, this? No, it was straight. Oh, my gosh. Like, how many feet outside <laughs> the window? I mean, like it looked like, I mean, this looked like a tall guy, so his foot almost was over his uh, his uh, mirror on his, oh, win on his window. Dang. And I'm like, are you just not comfortable? Like He's just trying to get some free AC. I guess. Down the pants. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just a nice breeze but still new air conditioning i don't think i could do that and I, i'm not up i was surprised just i didn't get to i was trying to speed up to see how he was positioned in the car but he ended up getting off the freeway where i wasn't and then you followed. i him. should have followed him <laughs> honey I, I, honey i'm gonna be late i don't see how that is comfortable though I've seen people, I've heard of people putting their feet up like when driving through Nevada when you have the long stretch through to like Reno and something like that. It's nothing but desert. But you put... They, In the they, driver's seat? Yeah, but they put both feet up. Yeah, because they're on cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that. But I've never heard of this. <laughs> What's interesting is we I rented a car recently uh, with cruise control and I'm, I'm apparently I'm just getting behind in technology because I... Um, used the cruise control to drive, and I didn't realize that cruise control nowadays, um, it will slow down yeah. for mm -hmm. you automatically. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, this is fancy. Yeah. I feel fancy. Yeah, I, I like, I kind of like that, and I hate it at the same time. Like I said, I follow that car. That's kind of like what I tell my car, like, follow that car, and it just does whatever that car does. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know such technology. <laughs> and then uh, at a stoplight, here around town, um, a guy was looking out his window, looking sad, and into the distance singing a sad Spanish song, like it's a montage scene. <laughs> he was looking where, sir? He was looking almost like at, a, at an angle, uh -huh. like head against the window and singing a Spanish song really loud, like it's a montage scene from a movie. <laughs> and I, oh. thought, I thought I was in a scene for a second. <laughs> You're a background guy. <laughs> Hey. Like, like I was looking right at him. He was literally parked right next to me at the light. You were looking and was I was he looking look, right at him. Was he looking in your general direction? No, he was looking like he, he was looking into the distance, just singing. But like in your rough direction, yeah, in my yeah. rough direction. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He was unfazed, still just singing. It, is it bad that when <laughs> Tim said that, I was just like, there are no sp sad Spanish songs. There's always like, you know, just harpsichord music. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, they, they still ha they have other music. Too. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and then funny. lastly, uh, we were at an In and Out recently, waiting in, waiting in line on the inside, mm -hmm. and um, you know how you can see behind, most In and Outs are shaped exactly the same, the mm -hmm. cookie cutters. Mm -hmm. um, we were we were waiting in line, and through the window where the drive through was there was a guy wearing a complete gas mask to pick up his food no oh my word i wonder if he works at the local <laughs> holiday oil <that> <laughs> 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 because um shortly after you know the lockdown measures were undone there was a guy that worked at the holiday oil and each day he proceeded to one up his pre like it was just like you know you you can actually start taking stuff off. He went from a, um, what is it? One of those um, gaiters. So after all the measures were taken off, he started wearing a gaiter. The next day he went, you, you could tell he went to like Home Depot and put on like, you know, <laughs> the mask that you would do if you were, you know, sanding or something like that. Then the following day he put, he had, I think he put two like m five whatever the oh yeah n95 N yeah m95 ones and then the following day he had what to me for all the intense purposes looked like a nuclear fallout gas mask <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looked like at the drive-thru and i'm like is the food that smelly or are you that paranoid what's going on he's gonna rob the place <laughs> that's awesome <laughs>
So I, I have a question for you. As you are a former Californian, I was told many years ago that Utah could never have a In-N-Out burger for two reasons. Reason number one was they would not have the fresh ingredients deemed necessary for an In-N-Out burger. And I thought that was ridiculous. But reason number two, which was actually number one on most Californians' minds, was you'll never be able to have the logo, which is required for every single In-N-Out burger out front of the store. A second one sounds ridiculous. Okay. But the the first one I've heard as well, Mm -hmm. just like they want to to maintain the proprietary ingredients Mm -hmm. and within relative distance of their uh, facility of their products. Mm. That's why they don't go further than they need to. Okay. And also Newsflash Utah. In and out burger is the most overrated burger yes, chain. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, <laughs> it really uh, is. It really is. I don't really care for it. Your kids love it though. Oh, my kids do, and I I can't do it anymore. I'm yeah, just, you guys go. I don't care. The don't the, the main anything. reason why people in California told me that In and Out Burger would never be in Utah first, in gr- fresh ingredients. Second, it is required, at least at the time, that two palm trees had to intersect in front of your In-N-Out burger that would go with the cup logo because that is the logo for In-N-Out burger. Interesting. Illuminati confirmed. And I, I, it was funny because I always joked with him, like, oh, we could get two pine trees. <laughs> <laughs> we can get fake ones. <laughs> spin the wheel. All right, we have spin the wheel where we have nine categories of questions. We're going to spin the wheel and decide who's going to be asking what today. And Brett, you get to go first and you get... Could you fight it? All right. So you guys, I, I'm going to set this could you fight it up with a situation. You guys are struggling for money and a, a thing comes along and this is guaranteed you will get millions of dollars. However, possibility, tons of hatred. Could you fight and kill the last panda on earth? Oh, <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> yes. I could fight it. Uh-huh. Well, it was, well, I get, so I'll get money, you said. Uh-huh. But you've just caused the pandas to go extinct. To go extinct. And I'll probably get also a whole bunch of backlash, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but see, here's, here's the thing there's only one panda left. So they're going to go extinct It's a anyway. girl. They could possibly inseminate it. No. I'm- <laughs> She's pregnant. <laughs> but then how's that going to work? You know, like, uh, never mind. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> yeah. No matter what, they're screwed. So, yeah, I'm killing it. <laughs> and pandas are dumb. <laughs> I like panda bears. <laughs> How much money are you talking? About $5 million. I'm not doing like, it. You, you, You're not doing it you, for $5 million. You, you You're going to go extinct. You have the anyway. choice of starving or $5 million. Like, this is how hurt your family is. But, somebody... but the thing is, like, doing something this horrible <laughs> can destroy your life. Okay. Because, like, if the world knows you did it now, if it was secretive and you murdered it and people are like, who did it? And they never find out. Yeah. It's a different story. I'm totally fine being that person. So you would do it streamed live on like YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah, and then I donate the all. But the, wouldn't you? Well, go I to jail. All, I, I, who is to say? Some yeah. somebody somebody with uh, you know a nice cut of his jib comes to you and uh, has a uh, briefcase that says five million. Here's uh, the. Panda. I'll tell you what. I'll take the five million dollars. I will stream it live, and all the money I make off the YouTube revenue. I will donate to bear preservation. <laughs> panda bear preservation. Now, no, not the pandas. Oh, okay. Just bear, bear preservation. <laughs> Give a little, take well, a little. No, I do it to the panda bears and be like, well, they're extinct. I guess they're I'll just keep the money. Keep I tried. <laughs> um, now, if this was more like an Illuminati, like underground thing, and they wanted to <laughs> underground see underground panda bear fight, club. exactly. Yes, <laughs> where. You know, I know who they all are, so we kind of have a quid quo pro going here. Like, you don't, you don't tell on me, I don't tell on you, kind of business. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll five million now. Probably, 
probably do it, but I will be crying tears. <laughs> I'm sorry, Panda. Hey, I'm sorry. Rule number one of Fight Club. Don't talk about Fight Club. Exactly. Especially if it's uh, <laughs> beating a, uh, an animal to extinction Fight Club. <laughs> like at the end of its but life. It, but I, it's the last one. It's going to die anyway. But he, but also you're ending its life premature. So like, he's showing mercy by killing it. But like <laughs> that panda bear could still live out however many years of its life. Oh, just sitting eating bamboo. Ooh. That's, that's what they do. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> we just go up to it and just break its neck just to just I just got violent there. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be it's gonna I, be slow. It, if I'm if I'm streaming it on YouTube, it's gotta be. Yeah, you'll have to co- walk over, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Come on, I need yeah. some super chat money. Super chat money. And you know what? I think I'll have Stevo in the background. We gotta get a million likes right now. Now, if I could kind of do what Taylor's talking about, but then saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna fight this bear to death." Unless you guys get the money up to five million dollars, and then I'm going to stop. Oh, and then I won't do it. <laughs> if we hit five hundred thousand, I slap it right yep. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I jump the fence and I go and I kill the, the bear. Well, that's going to be funny. Is and I get the five million. Is you start getting like the ulterior f- stuff? People are like, I'll give you five thousand dollars if you like, you know, poke its eye out or something oh. like that. So then this you sounds get, like hostile. Yeah, now. then you start getting the hostile <laughs> thing too. So oh, you you have this pull of two different communities. The oh ones are just like, here, here's some money, save it. Here's some money, kill it. Like, <laughs> obviously, the people who would want to kill it have more money, I feel like. Uh-uh. All, all I know, Jer, is if you were to do that, I would hop any fence and kill the panda bear while you're saying like, ooh, let's save the pandas. Ooh. <laughs> and then in the background, you just see me like... What if it was a... Like a brown bear. A brown bear? It was the last bear. Wouldn't you make more money saving the panda? Because you love bears. You love I do m- love bears. Grizzly bears or whatever. If it was a grizzly, I might. Yeah, I would probably not do it. Yeah, okay. But blizzard kind of ruined pandas. That's a whole another story for another day. Okay. <laughs> all right. Killing bears. Um, all right. I'm up next and I get Kiss, Mary Kill. Okay, I'm kind of proud of this one. Uh, it's a it's a mental brain scratcher. I feel like. Okay, wait. I want to do something. Okay, your first one. I'm going to say marry. Second one, kill. Last one, kiss. All right. Let's see what I get. That's I. That's actually my bold move, Cotton. That's <laughs> mine. Okay, air conditioning. Yes, I love how this is going. Mm-hmm. This is the second one is f- fridge and freezer. And the third one is TV. Ooh, I want to change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so you, wow. Hmm. So air conditioning. So it, it would cease to exist from your life? Yes. So, oh, fridge and freezer. <laughs> that means every single thing, every single day, you'd have to buy fresh food. Yep. Every single day. Every single day. Wow. I'm happy with my my marrying air air conditioning. Oh. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. I think I'd marry air conditioning, <laughs> kiss TV, and start. The, you know what? I, I would um would a would a cooler count as refrigerator freezer? Um, I'm gonna say no. You're talking about a cooler with like just ice that you have to buy. Uh huh. That's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah, I I could survive with that. Yep. But nothing more elaborate than that. Okay. <laughs> Cradle, what, what say is you? Hmm. I think I know enough tips and tricks to get around using a fridge and freezer. Just so salt I'm, everything. <laughs> so I'm going to go <laughs> marry, marry air conditioning for sure. Um, kiss TV, get rid of the freezer and fridge. Yep. That was my, my choice as wow. well. We all chose the same. Yes. And Taylor picked it without even knowing it. Well, I guess I yeah 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 yeah. All right, Taylor, you're up next, and you get what if. Okay. Um, what if human beings and AI reach singularity? So singularity would be that the technology of AI 
is now outsmarting humans. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. kind of like that. Would you put your brain into the machines and ally them against the humans? Or would you not do it and try and save humankind? I'm pro-human. I'd save humankind. Yeah, pro-human. But I, you know, I I'm, would always, I don't know if I could ever be trusting of a human being because I'd be like, oh, you're a human being. Or maybe you're a human being, or maybe you're AI in a human being kind of body that you've created. Everybody would be sus in my book. Like, all right, everybody's got to slip, like, get some blood out. Yeah, yeah. I'm selling out the human race hard. I'm, I'm going <laughs> into the machine, baby. See, I, I'm, I'm excited about this post-apocalyptic war. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, you guys are gonna lose. <laughs> It'll be fun trying. Yeah, I'm pro-human. Suckers. <laughs> and Taylor, we're going to defeat you with the power of wind, <laughs> water, <laughs> earth, <laughs> fire, heart. heart. <laughs> Your powers combined. I can beat AI. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come in, pew, 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 and you're gone. We tried. <laughs> we gave it a good college try, right, Colonel? That's right. <laughs> All right, Colonel, you're up next, and you got Desert Island. All right, you wake up on a deserted island and find four large magical hats floating in the air, each with a number on it. A mysterious voice says, you may choose only one hat if you desire. Do you choose a hat? And if so, which one? Wait, are they random numbers? Just one, two, three, four. Okay. Are are they giving off any auras? Like, do, do I sense, you know... Fire, wind, water, Superman nope. powers. Roll a D twenty. <laughs> they are they're all exactly the same color, the same shape, and then you just pick a pick one. One of the four. hats shot me in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> but once you choose a hat, the other ones disappear. <clears throat> and Can now, I? now, if you do choose a hat, I have. I will tell you what's underneath each hat. Can I talk to the person a little bit more? I was a little lonely on this island. Nope. <laughs> ah, he's okay, gone. I'm choosing a hat. I'm choosing three. Three. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm choosing two. Two. I'm gonna light them all on fire. <laughs> These Zero. Hats are on <laughs> Just fire. kidding. I'll, 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 oh, I was gonna say two. I'll, I'll take two as well. Sure. Okay, two and three. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start with number two. Two. You're given six rolls of magical reusable toilet paper, hmm. a, an indestructible LeBron James biography, <laughs> <laughs> and a box of raisinets. I so in, in my the, mind. so wait, indestru- <laughs> indestructible meaning that you could like light it on fire using it for firewood, and then it would just like reassume itself. Yeah, or it just wouldn't start. On or fire. it just, it just wouldn't, wouldn't start on fire. On fire. Oh man, I, I could use it as an umbrella. <laughs> then, like right, like a hat or yeah. something. You could use it to kill the hat. You know, disappears the, the smoke monster. I'm gonna throw mine into the ocean <laughs> and then. <laughs> Beat Jeremy to death with his and then throw it back into the ocean as well. <laughs> it's indestructible, so it'll just be gone. That'd be so funny if after you throw it into the ocean, you start getting the bi- autobiography of LeBron James broadcast <laughs> to you, read by him. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'd probably just like find the highest cliff and jump <laughs> off of it. And then you said three? Yeah, three. You get a Sharpie a piece of paper, and a two-liter bottle of your favorite soda, and a kazoo. <laughs> we all suck. <laughs> all right, what was one? Number one was a three-month pack of survival supplies with food, a sleeping bag, a pocket knife, and a way off the island. Congratulations, I, you live. I thought one was way too obvious I know. to pick. So I was exactly, like, no. that's why that was that one. <laughs> and then uh, number four was a five-pound bag of pancake mix and a gallon of maple syrup. Mm. I guess that would have been the second best one in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Raisinets, my friend. Raisinets. I'm, Raisinets. I'm oh. still mad about the biography. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, what else did we get besides LeBron and It doesn't matter. We picked Raisinets. the worst one. You you're given six rolls of magical oh, reusable hey, toilet paper. That's that's at least something. Uh. Actually, you could light that on fire <laughs> and it would just be reusable. You never said indestructible. So, magical reusable. So, All right. Um, oh, 
<laughs> Next Stupid up is plan. Brett, and you got random question. All right, this is kind of an odd one because it's similar to Tim's, but not really at the same time. So there's a comic book series that I read a little while ago. It's called Eight Billion Genies. It is fantastic. I strongly recommend it. The premise of the Eight Billion Genies is one day on Earth, every single person alive is given one genie and you have one wish. Now, just keep in mind, because it's one of those things like this is fun. And the story goes as people just start wishing insane stuff mm -hmm. that basically might either prevent your stuff from being ineffective or just removing you also from earth at the same exact time you have one wish you know because the genies come and tell everybody i am your genie you only have one wish what what do you want to wish for do you use it immediately or do you use it later once your wish is done, the genie's gone, cannot be, you know, unwished. So does everyone at the exact same time? Yes. Okay, my, I'd just say I wish for all the genies to go away. That wouldn't. Why be, not? It's one That's of the my wish. four that, wishes you can't say. Oh, so now <laughs> we're putting rules on this. Well, I mean, it didn't happen in the, the comic book because people tried to unwish people's genies and it's just like, I'm a magical creature. I cannot be unwished. <laughs> Well, then you can't grant me wishes, and therefore you. Because the only time genie. that the, the only time the genies ever go away is when their wish has been wished. Okay, I'd wait. I'm, yep. I'm patient. I'd hold on to it. Yeah, for sure. At least for maybe a year. Hmm. I just wish for Jer and Timmy to go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that that happened in the. Uh, I'll tell you, it's a good comic series. It's that eight is, issues long. That it, makes you think. The, the, the premise is, and the funny thing is, is one of the stupidest wishes, you're just like, oh, actually, that's like the most brilliant one out of them all. <laughs> that's that's interesting. It makes you think. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, my turn. And I got, what would you do? Okay. If the requirement to become a citizen in this country... Mm -hmm. And have all the rights therein, you had to be sent to the infantry, the mobile infantry. Would you do it? Would I be fighting bugs from another planet? <gasps> yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and and I decided to define what would be a citizen. I tried to find, because, you know, um, Starship Troopers, I guess, is based off of a book. Uh -huh. um, so it, but there still wasn't tons. But I know one is you can have children. Mm -hmm. Others you can vote. But I threw in there a higher income potential and own property. Otherwise, you have to be like rent a renter. Hmm. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to know I would more? I'd like to know more. <laughs> are we fighting bugs? Um, if we are, sign me up. Yes, we are fighting bugs. You know what? I'm going to pass. I'm going to be just, you know what? I'm going to be fine um, having lower income. Not being able to have kids and um, living a longer, happier life. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I'll I'll be like the the water boy of the of the infantry. <laughs> you got a wooden spoon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you go, Criddle? Yeah, sure. I'll give it the college try. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd probably I'd probably join for a couple of reasons. <laughs> and then when you go down, I'll be there with my with my glacial water. The, br the to, brain to bug sucks you. your brain. It's just like, huh, now I know how to make these humans into more tastier treats. <laughs> yep, I'd go. All right, Taylor. Uh you got would you rather? Okay. Would you rather give up traveling or celebrating holidays? Oh, easy traveling. I I, I am so, I love just being around like the area with my family and stuff like that. Like, I like holidays. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving because the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I family. Uh -huh. It's the family. It's the family. Um, would giving up holidays give up the time off that I get? 
I think it should also, just not to add to yours, it not only gives off the time off, but he's like begging people, I don't want time and a half pay, just get, pay me standard. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I will choose holidays. I don't. It's sad that this is <laughs> what I'd rather do. I don't. I d- I can't decide because I love my holidays, and I also like to travel. So uh, I don't know. It'll be a different answer for me once my kids have grown up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I want my holidays. <laughs> I still don't know. All right, Criddle, uh, you're finishing us off with lick off. All right. We're licking one of Jeremy's hobo's friend's space between the large toenail and the skin after being removed from a paper bag sock and a Kleenex box I shoe. All, <laughs> all while making eye contact the entire time. <laughs> I am now. So yep, I where am. on the toe? So there's the, the toenail in between, like <sighs> on your toenail. Uh-huh. Like the, between oh. the, the, the nail and the skin behind it. Got you. Underneath it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's pretty gross there. Yeah, I'm out. And like, you got to maintain How contact. did you come up with this? Because <laughs> I I have tried to ask Chat GPT to give me some gross stuff for lick offs and it's just like I will not do this. I, it, oh, it almost basically told me I will report you. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh was just think I was just looking at my nails earlier and I'm like I wonder if the toenail would be a disgusting place to lick. Hey, we haven't talked about hobos in a while. <laughs> It's funny because I saw a TikTok about how bad like biting your nails is because like the stuff that grows underneath your nails is not very, you know, could actually get you really sick and stuff like that. <laughs> and so I'm just like, so recently I've been a little <laughs> bit more aware of how clean my fingernails are. And I'm like, and I don't bite my nails or anything, but it's just like, ugh. now with that information, plus what you're saying, uh, Brett, you can start us off with the y- bidding, you know. <laughs> Everyone next, forfeits. <laughs> yeah. Next I'm, time, I'm not doing it. Next time I walk, just now knowing that, next time I walk through a cemetery, I'm, you know, when you like look at, you know, the, the b- born to death days, you know, 1872 to 1899, you're just like, I bet you they probably, now I'm going to be like, I bet you they probably chewed their, t- their, their fingernails. <laughs> he was in the fingernail chair. Yeah. Just tell your kids, hit. Yeah. He but, chewed his fingernails. But even if you got paid for it, you would always know what you did. <laughs> 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 and I couldn't live with that. <laughs> All right. Um, and, well, take a nice little lick there, Shani. <laughs> and just the eye contact, too. <laughs> Don't look away from me. Look me right in the eye. Especially if they enjoy it, then that just makes it even worse. <laughs> he shows up periodically in your life like, yeah, hey, remember? Rip it off like a Band-Aid. Get it done quick. <laughs> well, what was it? There's years a, a couple of years ago. I think HBO had uh, this documentary done on this guy who he would pay, he would find people. He'd be like, "Hey, could I pay you to tickle you?" I think that the, the documentary is called The Tickler or something like that. <laughs> and you know, you're just sitting there thinking, "Sure, why not?" Like he would tickle you, but it was the, from the the people that did it. It was near torture. Oh, really? Because <clears throat> he would tickle you so hard for such a long time <laughs> that, you know, even though you're laughing, you're actually in severe pain. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's just, not tickling then. Well, you're but still you're laughing. laughing. <laughs> anyway, uh, one. <laughs> One million dollars. I'm surprised you didn't start hiring. I was going to, but I just felt as though you were just going to get us down there. So I was just going to fast forward. That's true. 500,000. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm not doing mm. it. No. I, I don't know. What I know I'm going to win this. It's just wonder what. 250. What Brett's bottom dollar is. 250,000. Uh, 200,000. 100,000. <sighs> 75,000. Uh, 65,000. 50,000. See, here's the struggle with you and Tim is Tim is like a, a buck 50 or he'd be like, <laughs> I would pay somebody to do that. <laughs> um, and then you're just like, yeah, 50 bucks. Like, I, yeah. We're going for the experience. Oh, yeah, I'm going for the experience. No, I, not this. I'm not going for the experience. I, <laughs> he's like, you know what? I think, you know, I could get, you know... You know, plus three health and, you know. <laughs> I found the elixir of life right here between his <laughs> toenail. <laughs> yeah, the elixir of life, more like the elixir of death. Did you know that the Fountain of Youth was not in 
Florida. It is actually in between the, the <laughs> gunk growing in this guy's toenails. <laughs> <laughs> and you never see him again. <laughs> no, you see him every day. He becomes a part of your life. <laughs> Just remember, you get the ba- taste of a bag as well. That's not that bad. So wait, in an out burger bag or like Burger King bag, like you know. Hey man, I need I need to understand how but disgusting this bag this is. This bag's been wet. Okay, and I know, I know, but I'm, but I'm but I'm asking. <laughs> in and out bag. I mean, one of my Burger King an, bag it could be a restaurant. Burger bag. King, just do Burger King okay, to make okay. it worse. All right, <laughs> Taco Bell bag right. is better. <laughs> um, well, Taco Bell's in. Okay, I'm back in. <laughs> <laughs> Put some nacho cheese sauce on there. Uh, Forty thousand. Okay. The eye. Contact. Thirty thousand. <laughs> I don't mind the eye contact. I seriously, keep getting the chills. Twenty-five thousand. <laughs> Twenty thousand. Fifteen thousand. Ten thousand. Seven thousand. This uh, hobo's getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Five thousand. You're fighting over him. <laughs> 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 this is the most action <laughs> since 1972. Um, 3,500. <laughs> <laughs> he just took off his shirt. And oh, he's, God. he's now lotioning himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Three thousand. All right, I'm gonna let you have it because um, <laughs> I at no point in time wanted this at all. I just was trying to see how much I could get Jeremy down to. <laughs> yeah, I was. I knew that that was your tactic, and I was like, <laughs> but I was playing against myself here. I was like, is this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And three thousand, I can do it. I don't have to swallow. You're not I, proud of it, so I can no. just spit have alcohol next to me and go <clears throat> okay all right we have fake news i feel like it's been a long time since we've done this um so we now know that chair is <laughs> a spitter and not a spitter. <laughs> oh, gosh gosh sorry you're gonna have to edit that out <laughs> all right so fake news, uh, we have, um, we're going to do headlines of, um, I'm trying to get my, my wits about me now. <laughs> so we, ha- I'm going to do three rounds. Each round is going to be three headlines. One of them is going to be factual. The other two are going to be fake. You are going to decide which one is which, and we'll have a scoring system to see who wins. Yay, <laughs> another game I'm going to be terrible at. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> okay, first one. Hot dog on a stick's corn dogging contest ends with stick in a throat. In, uh, a stick in the throat. Hmm. Okay. Number two. School worker jailed for stealing chicken wings worth one and a half million dollars. Number three. Man finds a wedding ring in his Oreo. Let's see. All right. Let me de- de- deconstruct this. So it might not be an actual Oreo Oreo. It could be like somebody's, you know, homemade Oreo thing. Because I I can't imagine something like that falling into. I'm gonna say it's the first one. You want a hot dog on a stick? I I think so too. I think hot dog on a stick. Cradle. What was the second one? A uh, school worker jailed for stealing chicken wings worth a. Million and a half. One point five million. That feels like a legit thing to do. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with the Oreo. Uh, Oreo. I know the second one is true. The second one is true. I, I started thinking, how could it be like a million? Like I, we've had some <clears throat> like uh, aides in our in our district. Still, probably a couple thousand dollars worth of books and selling them on the second on the black market or something <laughs> like that. But h- how? Uh, during COVID. I, I, okay, that explains, <laughs> that explains it, it everything. It was to feed her family too, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know what she ended up I, using it with, but I believe 
she ended up, um, yeah, like it was she, to she, feed family. It, and Yeah, during COVID times, back when I guess they were doing a delivery food system to the people. And so okay. she was ordering this food and keeping it for herself. Oh, okay. Uh, but, I mean, she was taking tons at a time. So it's like, what were you doing with all that? Like, I mean, it was tons of food every time she took it home. But I think some people have, like, raised money to not, like, press charges on her or something I saw. Huh. All right. Round two. What What was the real one? Uh, was The real one was the chicken I mean, wings. Oh, the fake one. Oh, we're the, supposed the, to pick the real one? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to pick the fake one. Are you, yeah. Or otherwise, I would have said two. Uh, round two. So pick the true one. German warship blasts Darth Vader anthem in Heart of London. No deeper message, Navy says. Number uh, second one. Scientists say Paris food ate a dozens of Olympic event records. Number three. Ukraine built a paper mache hand giving the bird to Russia. I'm going to go with three. Uh, yeah, I want three to be true. So I'm going to go with three. Uh, we'll go with uh, the second one. Scientists say Paris food ate a dozens of yeah. Olympic records. The correct one is number one. German warship blast Darth Vader anthem in Heart of London. Or Ophers. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yep. Huh. All right. And let's see if I can win. And you guys don't get any right. All right. <laughs> then I, got the, I got the first one right. I was misunderstood. Yeah. Actually, I did because I said number yeah, two was true. true. Yeah, that's true. Ha. Yes. Okay. Round three. <clears throat> a child was reported missing. A TV news helicopter spotted him on the roof playing hooky. Number two. Middle school janitor caught taking students' homework. Number three. Wendy's scholarship for essays about why Wendy's is better than McDonald's. Hmm. I'm going to go with number one. I'm going to go with number two because of it was probably due to the severe beating of a high school janitor. <laughs> to keep things interesting, I'm going to go with number three. All right. We're uh, not shutting you. You're not shutting this out. <laughs> well, it's official. Taylor won. All right. It was the news cal- helicopter spotting the kid playing hooky. I thought it would be so obvious that that would be a thing that I was like, that that it wouldn't be. But why the crap would you be on the roof? I think, well... Was it, his parents, like, working at home? I might as well go to school at that point. Well, I th- so the one thing that's a little misleading about this is, like, I mean, the assumption is that it's a house. It's, it's an apartment complex in, oh. in New York City. Gotcha. Oh. So, yeah, fun stuff. All right, we're going to start our draft off this week, and we're going to be drafting the gadgets, the arms, whatever we want to do to build our arsenal of superhero and villains. So, of all their trinkets and stuff, potentially fight each other or potentially just have it in our arsenal, whatever. All right, Brett, you get to go first. All right, so I was trying to come up with the best thing that would be. Um, what the Omega level item, mm-hmm. and that is going to be Doctor Fate's Helm of Naboo. Doctor Fate's Helm of Naboo. What's yes, that? if you've seen Black Adam, which you probably haven't, it's his helmet. <laughs> it's Doctor Fate's helmet. The, the Pierce Brosnan's. I've doc- seen Doctor Fate. Okay, I remember his helmet. <laughs> what does his helmet do again? Doc, That's well, Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Pierce Brosnan. Doctor Fate is. It doesn't make a movie better. I'll tell it you. Does that. Not, but you know what? It is. It is up there with. Um, Doctor Fate is up there with Doctor Strange in power level. Ability. Oh, okay. And the helmet, all the power goes through the helmet, not through some mystic art training mumbo jumbo from that gotcha. movie. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to pick, I feel like, is is my 101. I'm going to f- pick the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh. You can use it once and only once, and then your hand will be ripped from your body. That's only if I'm trying to destroy half the population. Oh, okay. If oh. I'm using it for the other stuff, like he does the reverse in time. Mm-hmm. He does like everything else just fine. So. Okay. Yeah. Sucker. 
Yeah, Doctor <laughs> Fate's. T- you just uh, took the Infinity Gauntlet. You didn't take the Infinity. It's stones. assumed it no, has the. No, I'm taking the it, Infinity <laughs> Stones. <laughs> no, it's assumed it's on there. No. no. If I, mean, I if gauntlet. I Google Infinity Gauntlet, what is it going to come up with? A with glove. the stones or without the stones? I'm going to say with the stones. It'll come up with the stones. But I mean, the Gauntlet itself but, does but not if, contain the stones. But if we're doing that, then you have the Gauntlet, but you can't have all the stones. You have to pick one of the stones. I can say the Infinity Stones. No, well, why can't U- I? Have Uno it? Stone, por favor. <laughs> Fine, I'm going to take the Time Stone uh, so I can go back in time and <laughs> punch all of you in the face. All right. No, I have the stones. I have the stones. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, uh. we we need a ruling on this. Um, because uh, the gauntlet originally uh, uh, ask that's two devices. That would be two more more devices then, right? Hmm. Because if you have a, is, you have a glove that is its own device, then you have a, each stone well, the, is a device, and you just told him one stone if he picks. The gauntlet well, is yeah. has, has no powers whatsoever by itself. It is just literally a exactly. glove. It's just a device. Yeah. So ask. Uh, well, the tie breaking one will be our. AI friend chat GPT. Okay. Do, and I don't know how you want to do this. Does the Infinity Gauntlet come with the Infinity Well, stones? if you ask that, okay. then it will say, then it will say, say no. Well, no, it will say it doesn't come with it because like just like anything. Because you have to gather the things stones. Things have to be built. Yeah. You have to so, gather the stones. Hmm. I'm going to ask, can I ask chat GPT what is the Infinity Gauntlet? Okay, yeah. What is the Infinity Gauntlet? Okay. Oh, I can't wait for this to blow up in your face. And the survey says. Okay. So this is what it says. Mm-hmm. The Infinity Gauntlet is, is a powerful artifact in the Marvel Universe, most famously associated with the character Thanos. It is a golden glove designed to house six Infinity Stones, oh. each representing different species or different aspects of existence. <laughs> I just I, I was doing a big dance. Okay. I so it's designed to house them. So I do you want to redo He your cannot pick? redo it. Well, so are you are, are you saying that like I could have only get the gauntlet and like the gauntlet and the, the stones don't come together? I'm Oh, like permanently? That, that's what I'm getting from You would have to use GPT. the rest of your... Because oh, it, rest of my turns to pick each see, of the stones. See, and that's, that's mm-hmm. why I went with the Dr. Fate's okay. helm, because I knew that it had all its power within the helmet. Okay, okay. Well, then I'm going to repick. You and can't repick. You already picked. <laughs> well, it, okay, fine. You can re-pick. Well, the, some, my assumption was is I got the whole set. Yeah. Because it's one thing, but... Um. Then, for that purpose, I am going to pick. Well, then, if I say this, then I have to also say the other thing. So I'm just going to throw it out there because this is going to be the exact same scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know the name of it, but uh, what's his name's little? That's the time stone in yeah. his little yeah, necklace doc, thing. Do, the eye of Agamotto. I have uh, yeah. Agamotto. Yeah. yeah. So once again, that's so, two things. But it can it. It comes with it. It's like a box of cereal. Yeah. You have the eye of whatever, and it, was it, it houses. Is it because it was introduced? In, so it, no, you it said was housed. Always, it was always, but it's always been in there. Yeah. So I'm sure it hasn't always. I just mean, in okay. the MCU. Okay, we'll say that. So that counts. So l- l- let's right, go through this. Allow. So if you have Ronan the Executioner's hammer, you have that one. If you have the Tesseract, you have that one. Uh, it you know the ether. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I I think if you get the certain okay. stones okay. with the, the objects, so we're you staying with the them. MCU. So so you're saying it's like a can of soda with the soda inside. Yeah, it's not like, just the can. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. I'm gonna use. I'll get the eye of Agamotto then. I forgot. Does and this is a nerdy question? Does the eye of Agamotto do anything more than the time stone could already? couldn't do by itself does that make sense that's a good question i would have to read some comics about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, i'm not i'm not sure on that one okay but I it seems curious. it seems to me like it's just designed to to house it to protect it that no one like evil can get it mm-hmm. okay well cool well thank you for well i didn't know that we we're going to go down this path but thank you for yeah, letting I, me adjust. you know what i and as uh, you know, the the nerd of the podcast, you know the Justin Long character. <laughs> I do appreciate this kind of discussion. <laughs> See, you got to fight for what you believe in mm-hmm. for the right. 
to party. All right, uh, Taylor, you're okay. up. Okay, I think I'm going to take the reality stone. The that reality ether. stone's a good stone. Cam. Who, 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 I'm going to take the reality stone. So that's the was, ether? Is that the... Which one is that? It's off the of? ether. It's the that's ether. the dark world where. It... Oh, I've never seen the the whole movie. <laughs> I've seen it. I've, I've seen it, but I've take deleted the reality it. Reality Stone itself. So do you have to watch Thor two to be able to <laughs> obtain? <laughs> if that's the case, no one will be able to obtain the Reality Stone. <laughs> you rather get the Life Stone, <laughs> where you have to kill somebody that you love, <laughs> or is that the Soul Stone? Uh, that's the Soul Stone. There is no Life Stone. Yeah, Soulstone. <laughs> All right, Curdle. <laughs> um, c- can I take Iron Man's suit? Yep. Yes. That cool. was on my list. I'm going to take Iron Man's suit because it's awesome and it does a lot of cool things. Why not? Yep, I agree. I was going to hopefully get that one, you know, down the line. I, I did not pick any of the stones, so I was thinking gadgets. I didn't think a stone would be a gadget, but cool well, well it's just like arms like anything that they have in their possession it i know i i didn't consider yeah. a stone a, a gadget so oh, okay. I, that's why it's not none of them are on my list um so i got iron man's suit i figured that's one in one in it's a suit and so i'm like yeah i want that um because that can replace a car that can replace a lot of things and it doesn't take up much space and it's quite cool mm-hmm. and you can kind of customize it to yourself yeah it's, would it which version of the iron man suit would it be I'm just curious. I figured you'd patent all of them, right? Okay. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'm fine with that. I mean, having all of them. Do you become the ownership of the Iron Man suits? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, I like, I like the, I mean, the nanotech one the is nanotech obviously is probably the, the best is one. probably the, the most efficient and the best yeah. one. So I'd probably take that. Um, and then I get the wheel. Um, does it, does the item have to be from like a superhero movie slash TV show, or can it be like a hero-like figure, or can it just be any kind of device that from anything? I'm thinking for the, the point of this conversation, they have to be like a Batman or st- like actual have superpowers stronger, like Iron Man. Well, I guess Iron Man is a Batman, essentially. But I mean like... Um, I'm trying to think here without showing any cards here. I guess most of these gadgets, people like, well, this is an obvious one that everybody's probably thought of already is Molnir. You know, yeah. Thor has already got some kind of power because he's a god. And then you throw in Molnir on top of that, you know, it's an addition to. So, like, something like that. Okay. Like, I guess you might have to bring it up. And- okay. Um, then all right, judges can decide on this one whether it counts or not. Um, but I'm going with, I'm, well, no, the, I'll save that one for later. No one's going to take it. But I'm going to go with uh, Syndrome's laser thingy from The Incredibles. Oh, his glove. Okay, his glove. yeah. I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I'll save the other one for later. Okay. What one did you take? I took Dr. Fate's Helm of Naboo. Is that where, um, what's his name's from? Anakin? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's Tatooine. <sighs> Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> worst nerd ever. I didn't watch Star Wars until I was an adult. But what? what is... Oh, doesn't he race on Naboo or something on Naboo? Naboo's where Padme's from. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> I don't care that I don't know Star Wars stuff at all. Well, Disney kind of ruined it, so... That's why it's called Star Wars and then Disney Star Wars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Taylor, you're up. <clears throat> hmm. Ooh, this is... Uh... Where was it? I just had it. <laughs> One second. One second, Tyree. Tyree. I'll take the um, the the Mandarin's rings. Ooh! Oh, is that the the, the rings from the uh, Shang Chi? Yeah. It's funny. I thought of that, but I never put it on my list for some reason because I was like, the I meant to. All right. What I forgot what the rings do exactly. Is it 
They can, make you cool. Can I have the serum that they use in <laughs> Secret Wars so that I can have the Mandarin rings also while also having uh, Drax's arm tattoos and <laughs> be a super scroll? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Apparently, I, I missed the joke here because I'm like, uh, what's going on? I take that back. I want to be a super squirrel. <laughs> I win. Okay, so the <laughs> ice kidding. blast emits intense cold and ice, which, fr- I'm, man, there's nine things it does or ten things it does. Wow, that there's a lot that it does. All right, I'm not going to read them all because I had no idea. But there's a lot of fl- blasts like ice, electro, flame, white light. Mento intensifier, mental abilities, I guess. Mm. Disintegration beam, Ooh. vortex beam, impact beam, and matter rearranger. And beam beam. <laughs> beam that just emits a beam. Yeah, a beam it's within a, flash, a beam. It's a flashlight. It's a flashlight. <laughs> and it comes with a flashlight, too. All right. Um, I'm going to pick uh, the power ring. From I, that's what it's so labeled as. You are the DC expert. Oh, Green Lantern. Green Lantern's uh, Green Lantern ring. Yeah. yeah. That that chooses the wearer, not the wearer chooses it. Well, he's gonna take it. And <laughs> <laughs> now you become a yellow lantern. So as soon as he puts it on, it just slides off and leaves him. <laughs> I don't know the lore of Green Lantern. Well, I mean, so. so if Jeremy has, you know, it, what is it? Has a hopeful attitude. It could choose him. If he's a fearful attitude, then the uh, yellow li- ring will choose him, and if he has anger, the red ring will ring will choose him. What? Um, and if he's a hippie, he has the blue ring. <laughs> <laughs> Do these have any power differential? I have yes. no idea. Okay. The uh, green uh, is runs off of hope, and but know, which one's the strongest? Is there? A- it depends because at times <laughs> fear can be stronger than hope. Yeah, okay. So that's why the green and yellow lantern cores fight against each other. Gotcha. All right. All right. Brett, you're up. All right. So I have the wheel. I'm going to go with, and I knew the Iron Man suit was going to fall way way before I got there, but I already had a backup suit that is actually stronger than that one. Ooh. And that is Lex's super suit, which is designed to take on Superman. So it has all of, like, you know, Iron Man stuff, but also the ability to withstand. Such I didn't power. know he had a suit. Oh, yeah, it's called Sorry. the Lex suit. Yep. And it's th- called a war suit. Yeah. Usually he just calls it the Lex suit. But yeah, the war suit. Honey, go get my Lex suit. <laughs> Lex suit me up. Where is my Lex suit? <laughs> I love that movie. All right. And then what was your next one? My next one is the Staff of the Gods. Which contains Shazam's power. I was wondering if you were going to draft that. Mm-hmm. I was wondering. But can you assign inst- it to yourself? The instant I hold on to it and say Shazam, I have Shazam's powers. Yeah, there you go. So what happens if a grown-up... A grown-up just stays a grown-up, yeah, right? because Mary Marvel, his older sister, yeah. remains the same person. Is there a canon of how old that is? That Well, it, it, in some of the comics, Black Adam is a lot older, and whenever he uses it, he turns into, you know, a 30s, you know, mm. ripped guy. And then when he says Shazam, he turns back into, a, like, an old, crippled, cancel-ridden guy. Yeah. Okie doke. Um, I am back up here. Now I feel like I'm, like, under-prepared, which I thought I was more than prepared with all these things. And I, I mean... I looked at Google and all that stuff and ChatGPT, and apparently I didn't get that cool of stuff. Anyway, I am going to, I'm trying to, I want to go for a suit as well. Mm. But whose suit am I going to pick? The Barney Stinson. The Barney Stinson. Suit up. (laughs) That one, like, you take the perfect pictures every time. (laughs) That's a superpower. (laughs) I'll allow it. I'm going to choose Wasp suit. Hmm. The reason for that is like, because she can shrink, right? Mm-hmm. So And then she can fly on top of it. Uh-huh. So I'm just going to go with that versus Ant-Man suit, which can only do the one thing. Oh, but I guess the difference is, can she She can't grow, can she? I don't think so. I don't know if they... I don't know. 
I mean, might have done it in the comic books, but definitely not in the movies. Yeah, she's never grown more than human size. Hmm. I might have to rethink that because that was part of it. I'd rather... F- but she can fly at normal size, right? Yes. Okay, I'm still taking a I think so. I think so, yeah. Anytime I've seen her fly in the movie, though, she's been small. Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't see why she couldn't. It may be a dumb suit, but I feel like the suits I have left are very... are like. Iron Man suit can do a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm sure your Lex suit can do a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm finding the rest of the suits on my list can only now do smaller components of things. Unless I've forgotten some, which is definitely possible. All right, Taylor. I'm having picker's remorse. Oh, yeah. You pick and roll. You going to flick it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taylor. Ooh. Do I want this one? This one has like a bad history with it. Um. Do we need some waiting music? Yes, please. All right, here's some waiting music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take... I'm going to go with the Power Stone. Okay. Power Stone. Power. I always think of... Uh, Jeremy Clarkson? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I always think of um, Dungeons and Days, the the twins. Power! 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 power. Yeah. I saw that their third season just barely started. Uh-huh. Actually, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take the Resurrection Stone from Harry Potter. Oh. Which ones? I don't even remember the Resurrection Stone. They're not superheroes, though. Uh, you it, said artifacts. It, I said they're superheroes and super villains. Utility belt. They're super, super magical. I don't know. These two rule in. I say think? no. Hmm. Roll the dice. Chat GPT. <laughs> All right. It, if it gets you in the groin, no. <laughs> oh, it's in the arm. It's in the arm. <laughs> I, I think that's an okay. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh, resurrection what? The Resurrection Stone. I mean, it's the same thing as, um, what's it called? Uh, the Soul Stone. Yeah. But yeah. I wanted except, to push yeah. except he doesn't have to push anybody off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Criddle? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the Sling Ring. Sling Ring? Yeah. What's that's that? That's the Doctor Strange uh, ring that opens up portals. Oh. You, you need a ring for that? Yeah. I don't think I noticed that. Like even so, Wong has that too. Yeah, yeah. They all have. The yeah, rings. they all have that ring. The oh. ring that, yeah. and, you know, I can go extremely long distances, distances to other planets, whatever I want in an instant. It's like teleportation. There you go. Yeah, I didn't even. The, the sling ring is like your keys. You just gotta. <laughs> you, gotta you don't lose them. All right, kids, let's go to school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You better be dressed because if not, in five seconds you're gonna be. I'm closing the screen ring <laughs> prematurely. <laughs> Oh uh, man, that's a good pick. I honestly thought it was like just something they learned to do. Mm. My bad. All right, Criddle, your last pick. Okay, so just to recap, I have this the syndromes laser thing. I Iron Man suit, Iron Man suit, and sling ring. Okay. Yep. Um, let's see. Just to screw with people, I, you'll have to tell me if this is allowed. Okay. Okay. Um, the Mission Impossible mask. Generator. I think that would be somewhere in Batman's arsenal, possibly. Yeah, that's fair. I'll allow it. Okay. Okay. I can disguise myself as anybody. We're going to call it a uh, what? Mask generator. Yeah, mask generator. Now, I mean, most of the time in the movies it fails, but, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm willing to give it a good college college try. try. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Taylor, back to you for your last pick. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to go to DC Universe on this one. Hope oh, got to scroll here for a oh, second. Man. It's too late to change. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. You need Scam Likely's whole music. Like, do, yeah. do, 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 Is it do. too late to change my last one? If uh, he hasn't picked yet. I'm going to take the Miracle Machine. I'm not. I wasn't going to take that. <laughs> I just thought of something. Okay. 
Control Z. Control Z. Undo. Only if it's allowed. Okay. Depends what? on what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I'll allow you to pick. I want the Neuralizer for Men in Black. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking the Miracle Machine. What's the Miracle Machine? So um, it is a mechanism is able to manifest any hope or desire that it that its user possesses, no matter how big or small. Is it was that on Wonder Woman? No, it's a DC. No, it would be. It's probably well, Mister Miracle, right? Yeah. I believe so. All right, all right. I'm up, and I am going to pick. Oh dear, 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 dear. I am going to pick. I wish I could pick Iron Man's armor at this point in my life, but no, nope, here we are. Uh, I feel like all these are go, just, I'm just going to go for the shark repellent. Yeah. <laughs> the shark repellent. Uh, just take um, Aquaman's um, trident. <laughs> I don't even you know. Rem- talk to fish. <laughs> I don't even remember what powers that brings you. The power to control Atlantis. Can- Brule over it. Talk to fishies. Can I have a control Z for my wasp suit? No, you're <laughs> way past the no. wasp suit. Because <laughs> I uh, just I have a good combo now, but all right. Um, I am going to pick. Oh, geez. Is it... I like your ring. I like your ring too much. Your sling ring. I am going. That's just going to help you get away from me and Brett because. We're killing both of you. <laughs> if let me just ask you this: If I pick another suit, can I wear the two suits together? Oh well, I like that question because I was gonna actually do the same thing. <laughs> oh, <gasps> I want to control. What was, that? what was my last one? The Miracle Machine. Yes. You, yeah, Miracle Machine. It's before his turn. He hasn't picked yet. Yeah, so you, I would say you want to yes. control Z. But that one's such a good one. I'll just make it. I can have my own desires so yeah i'll just okay use it to cool well i'm gonna wear two suits because i'm awesome like that and i'm gonna wear black panther suit all right by the way you can't wear a suit why not not the right skin color (laughs) (laughs) no because you're not um the ruler of wakanda i could be you don't know you don't know all right my suit is uh the adam's suit Ray Palmer, who which gives me the control over my mass and size. Oh, Adam as an ATOM. ATOM. I was like, who's Adam? Adam? Ray Palmer, the Adam. I forgot about Adam. And that's a suit that gives him that power? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. I think we'd all be able to defeat Criddle, but we wouldn't be able to defeat each other. <laughs> I think we, the three of us would well, be at a standoff. He, he has an Iron Man suit. You know, now thinking about it, I'm kind of surprised you picked Syndrome's glove because I feel like it's built into Iron Man's suit in some way. Well, but I mean, it's more like a the levitation, like, pull oh, on you, oh, you yes, you get to people. pause people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that gives them quite a pa- bit of power there. Yeah, you have to see me first. And then Sling Ring, you, you could run <laughs> away really quickly. Uh-huh. And then you can make us forget that we are fighting you with the, exactly. yeah, the, neuralizer. the neuralizer. Oh, I think we're all at a standoff <laughs> with each other. Taylor, no. Reality Stone, he can make us believe whatever he wants us to believe. Mandarin rings, he can he's a good fighter. See, I I'd be able, to, and I I can't die, and I have the miracle machine. So just whatever I think comes to pass. Hold on, why why gone. do I have five for you down? Because I'm awesome. <laughs> so I have you picking the reality stone or Mandarin rings, the power stone, the resurrection stone, and the miracle machine. Which one was the oh, one? I think I took. I gave up the power stone. Oh, okay. All right. So. Reality, you can make us think what you want. Mandarin, you're a good fighter with that. Resurrection Stone, you can bring people back to... Can you use it on yourself? I don't, You know. Oh, and with the Miracle Machine, I also bring all the symbiotes from the Marvel Universe and wear them as a suit, so you, <laughs> you can't kill me. Um, then <laughs> I have... Awesome. The, I have Agamotto, so I can rewind anything. Uh, so he's undone that. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then I just but, and then you redo it, and then he done does it. Yep. It's just like, that's, wipe that's, on, wipe off. That's basically how it. Yeah, this would go. Is we would just keep canceling each other out. Green Lantern's ring, which gives me a good fighting ability. Mm-hmm. Wasp Zoo, I can shrink and be 
So technically, you would have three suits then, right? Or why? Well, because the Green Lantern gives you a suit, right? Well, it it gives you a force field to protect them from the vacuum of space. Yeah, it's a suit. It is a suit. I I I like. I really want a nerd to really dive into (laughs) these and see who really would win. Well, let's but throw read, it in the end of GPT. <laughs> I, I mean, I would love it if I could ask him, but I can't because he has no idea. Would you go maskless like John Stewart? Would you go super mask on like <laughs> Kyle Rainier? Or would you have a semi mask like Hal Jordan? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> you. <laughs> Me? I don't even know what we're talking about. Uh, the Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, if there is a nerd out there, please let us know. Let's ask Chet who GBT. would win. I'm, I'm asking Ooh, that'd right be now. Awesome. Yeah. Who would? Uh, these are these powers. These are these powers. Who oh, would yeah, win? Yeah, let's let's do it. Ah. Mm, all right. It says this is a fascinating matchup with with each character equipped with powerful arsenal of weapons and artifacts. Here's a breakdown. I don't want to break down. Um, cut, it's, it's, cut the crap. <laughs> <laughs> cut the crap, Janice. Come on, you gotta you gotta pick. Um, outcome. Okay, here's the outcome. It's still typing. It's, <laughs> wow. You know. Okay. It it has a winner. It, it does it has have a, a winner. winner. The winner would be Taylor. <gasps> Whoa. Who would likely emerge as the victor due to the reality stone and the miracle machine, which provides near limitless potential to reshape the battlefield and overcome challenge. However, if Jeremy or Brett could find a way to exploit the weakness of the reality stone or miracle machine, they might stand a chance. All right. We got the good old college try. <laughs> <laughs> See, I really thought that the helm of fate would really help him out. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, and then so, Brett, you have Dr. Fate's helm of Naboo mm-hmm. and Lex Luthor's super suit and the staff of the gods and Adam's suit. Mm-hmm. So cool. I mean, I think also, Cradle, it doesn't give you... Um, credit for the neuralizer as much as it should as well because we can forget everything sam i I went full on gadgets (laughs) gadgets against most of plenty all right now it's time for a recommendation what's it (laughs) all right Um, i'm gonna just start us off so i can't i don't think i've ever recommended the show i've watched it here and there but you know i'm in that phase of life where like right now i feel like there's a lot of shows you can't watch until it's past the kid's bedtime. Yeah. And so I have to pick shows that I can watch when they're awake. And I've been finding a good one that they kind of enjoy as well is Holy Moly. Hmm. It's the Mentor Golf. And the guy who does the the play-by-play, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, what is it? Wipeout with Miniature Golf combined. Okay. Yeah. Have you never heard of it before? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've seen it. And the times. guy who does the... The the announcing and all that stuff, the play by play, he's pretty funny. I mean, he's a he's a B list actor. I don't know his name, uh, and I can only remember him off of New Girl because he's Schmidt's brother or Schmidt's whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, we can do this all day. Yeah, all day, all day. Uh, but yeah, that's my recommendation. It's a good family uh, show to watch together. It's pretty funny. And has some pretty good adult humor in it as well that the kids don't usually catch. Mm. Well, I'll have to give that a go. All right. Um, I'm going to go. I just, uh, I've said this before, but uh, as we are getting closer, ever so closer to October, there is a fantastic series on MGM Plus called From. It is a fantastic horror series. The first episode is one of those that is so good that it should immediately just hook you because of its awesomeness. Series three is going to start being uh, dropped, I think, sometime in September. And so I strongly recommend watching, especially the first series of From. Second series or second series gets a little bit weird, but I think there's going to be a lot of more explanation in the series three. So <laughs> From... I will. MGM Plus. Check it out. From what? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Either of you got a recommendation this week? My recommendation this week is it's officially, unofficially the start of college football. All right. Yep. I I just looked at that as we were starting the podcast. I was like, because I got an announcement on my phone that says like college week coming up. And I was like, oh, what? Is it this week zero this week? Yeah. But I mean, 
there's a couple games on today, but officially college football starts next weekend. So get ready. If you're into that kind of thing, college football is great. It is. And the G League of the NFL. <laughs> It'll be a lot, lot. Just it'll be very interesting to see what uh, Big Ten and Big Twelve do, especially with all the realignments. So, yep, yeah, <sighs> good things, good things. Taylor, do you recommend anything this week? I recommend mm. not giving your kids the opposite medicine. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <Not> <laughs> labels. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> yeah, labels. They make <laughs> they make things work. Um, dosants. A croissant donut, great. And I'm I'm gonna kind of piggyback on the Big Twelve, um, Big Twelve basketball, yeah. possibly adding UConn. Oh, there we go. That'll be really? interesting. A little teaser. Wow. Last yeah. I heard, they were trying to add Florida and Florida State and Clemson. Yeah, I didn't this, know about UConn. This was thing that they just started discussions about it. That would they be... would join in twenty. 31, I believe. Oh, dang, that's a long way. That is a super competitive league. I know, but Big 12, oh man, with UConn, Arizona, Kansas, all in the same, that'd be just really cool. That'd be crazy. Houston's are always good. So, good things. Yeah. All righty. Well, get out of here, peeps. Go do some things. But do what? Stuff.